vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hello there, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are those vegan, vegan guys. guys. And we're back together at Plot 25, our allotment adventures. Vlog 40, this promise. Vlog 40. So 40. We've, we've got the missing vlog 28, which is an internet mystery and will remain so forever. Yes. We've got uh, solo vlog 39, where Jay was on his own. Crying. I still got in at the end, making it to my house at home. I won't have none of that. Um, but we're both over the COVID now. Well, you know, get in there. Yeah. Um, so we're back down. Ooh. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago when I picked that um, blue Hubbard? The first blue Hubbard. Oh, yes. Well, here's a picture of it. I'll leave it there for a second. Of it in the roasting tray last night. It'd been in for about 10 minutes. All right, go away, picture. Uh, all I did was top and tail, the very ends, top and tail, cut it pretty hard. Yeah, you had a workout, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, they're tough uh, squashes to get through. Um, Cut it up into segments, got the seeds out. No, I didn't save any of the seeds because I've still got some seeds. Um, I know that it, it, my process was just to use the squash because it had been in the fridge about three weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had been at least a couple of weeks. Still yeah. perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Left the skin on, all the skin. Cut it up into chunks, roasted it in the oven like that. Blended it with some veg stock, dead simple veg stock. And we ended up having this the picture for our dinner last night super chips we know it's a strange a lot of people say some of these. that's horrible doesn't it make your chips because soggy well some of them yeah that's kind of the point but if you do your chips oven chips and the air fryer until they're dead crispy mm -hmm. some of them stay crisp don't they yeah there's a whole there's a whole textural conundrum going on with yeah. soup and chips it's a beautiful meal it's a meal you eat with a soup and a fork so, you know, you eat your soup like you would your soup and then you make nice... Spoon and a fork. Part crispy, soggy chip, but it's beautiful. Anyway, the blue uh, Hubbard squash was lovely. A bit like butternut squash, but not quite as sweet. Not quite as sweet. A little um, bit more... It is a bit nutty. Slightly nutty, yeah. And I imagine that, if, depending on how you prepare it, it's probably slightly different because we had it when it was kind of halfway through the roasting. We had a little sample yes. halfway through the roasting process and it was lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It um, was. It was beautiful. Just dropped off soup for mum and dad. I was going to say that. So we had it for dinner last night, took down... Uh, some for my mum last night which she'll be having tonight mm -hmm. just took some up for Jay's mum and dad mum and dad Brom uh, so they've got a, a, a good big portion each too and we've got plenty left at home I'll probably end up freezing some you know yeah 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 yeah. Uh, yeah I got maybe. all them little containers so it's like you know picked a couple of apples already off the tree this morning because my mum's asked for some she wants to do an apple and blackberry crumble Mm -hmm. I think her and um, uh, Reggie, my great nephew, my niece's son, yeah, great nephew, um, picked some blackberries, wild blackberries. She said them in the freezer. Nice. So she said, Will you get me a couple of apples? I said, Yeah, of course I will. Just picked a couple of beetroots by accident. I was pulling a flower that had grown in the in Root Road, and the beetroot, but the beetroots looked lovely. Yeah, well, I said. Um, I said to you the other day, didn't I? Because obviously the, some of the stuff, the way that we planted it in Root Road, it's quite close together. So some of those beetroots, you know, you pull something near it and a couple of the beetroots have just come out with it. Yeah. Um, which is kind of good in a way because it gives us a chance to have a look at the beetroots and how they're doing. Absolutely. And I've been, when we do the proper harvest on the beetroots and get them all out, I've already been looking at recipes online for borscht. Borscht. Which is basically a beetroot soup. Um, and it's known in both Russia and Ukraine, this is what I've read. The Russian version, um, the way it differs from the Ukrainian version is that it has salt pork and potato in it. Uh, whereas the Ukrainian version is just kind of vegetables and beetroot yeah. in a stock. So I'm gonna do a combo of the two because I want potato in mine. I like a potato. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna be looking, I'm gonna be developing my own recipe for borscht based on both the Russian and Ukrainian classics 
Um, we've got a bit of a theme on the going on the channel now in terms of sort of uh, Paul adapting really bloody tasty peasant dishes from different parts of the world. Um, so borscht is a continuation of that, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, it's like we made the um, ribolita yes. soup, um, which is maybe one to grow cannellini beans next year. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, just so that we've got them here. So what we're doing today, anyway? Uh, we're down here, we're gonna put some stuff up, cause we've had some stuff for a few weeks. Well, I said, those of you that saw the vlog last week where I was on my own, I said I wanted to wait because it was, wasn't was fair to stick stuff up in our shed from the unboxing uh, vlogs that we've done recently without Paul being here. That would just be unfair. Yeah, so well, that's just something we've done together at yeah, the time, isn't it? Yeah, so and if you haven't, um, if you haven't seen some of the stuff that you, some of our fabulous subscribers have sent to us, um, we can link up there uh, to our unboxing playlist, and then you could check out the last couple of unboxings, including the mini unboxing that we did on uh, Friday. This Friday just gone. Um, where you can see what people have sent us and who has sent them. Yeah, we're just about getting back to normal vlogging wise now after a couple of shocking weeks, um, which is understandable. Uh, so yeah, I'm, what I'd like to pick, I wonder how long those apples can stay on the tree for and, and be okay, because I've noticed there's a couple of them already like. Yeah, that's anyone's guess, isn't it? I have no idea. Uh, I mean, do we just take the ones that look ripe and ready for picking today and take them and then do something with them as well in terms of maybe storing? We can have a think about that anyway. If nothing else, I could just make applesauce and freeze that because you can use it in baking. Mm -hmm. I can use it in, you know, other things. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna pick some apples. We're going to um, tomatoes in the greenhouse. We need to get the rest of the tomatoes because I need to do more batches of tomato sauce for the freezer because yeah. those will see us great, won't they? Yeah. Um, We're going to continue to decorate the shed, as we've said. Yeah. Um, but it's a bit windy. Bit it's a bit windy. It's like a, you know, it's threatening rain. Um, but this is the best day of the weekend. Yesterday it literally rained all day, um, so we had a chill day yesterday. It's fine. We just stayed at home, played games. Yeah. Uh, I played Pine, he played, what's it called, that shooty one. Uh, you played No Man's Sky and said, I'm, I'm kind of done with that now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I've forgotten, what, hours on that. I've forgotten what I've forgotten the other one's called. But um, anyway, you're here for an allotment vlog, should yeah, crack on? They're here for a Paul and Jason vlog. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll crack on. It's so much easier when Paul's here because Paul's the talker. On the word. <laughs> Ah, I did 
Did your trip with Tamara last week? I've got it! I've got it! <laughs> That's enough. I don't want to. I don't want to pick too many and just have them rotting at all. But there's so many have fallen. Jim, yeah, I know. Off the. Um, I know. That are good for the. I suppose it, I might just leave them to rot and go into the soil. It'll do the soil. The world are good. We've said next year we're going to do cider, haven't we? With some of them. Yeah. So you know, a lot of the ones that have potentially gone to waste this year won't go to waste next year. Hopefully. Yes. Right. Just crack on. You're helping it to, uh, to be a, a strong baby. I'm gonna try it, yeah. I might need two because this other one's grown so much. Well, we should have a plethora of blackberries and raspberries next year. Yeah. Hopefully. Because she certainly had a chance to establish. She's loving life. Oh. <sighs> It's not that bad, is it? I just thought whilst it's raining, maybe we can uh, we can do the stuff in the shed here. Oh yeah. We've got so many things to put up that we've had like hanging around for ages. I want to try and put these up. <laughs> I love them so. I believe much. this the young lady was Amelia, who's nine, who made us these. They're so cool. And a little. Plant. I think they'll just go on the wall with the stapler. Well, that's what I'm nice. kind of hoping. I'm going to try and put one on either side, Jay. Yeah. Next to the parrots. Yeah, it, it's ever so slightly South Parky. It is. It is. I'm all about that. It's definitely, there's definitely a Terence and Philip vibe <laughs> going on with them. Yeah. I will, of course, show you close ups when uh, when we've done this. Uh, and as we said in our intro, um, do check out our unboxing uh, live streams and vlogs because they're a joy. Marvelous. So these are all these are all the. Oh, there's that little thing as well. We need like a nail or something. Yeah, we can find a little nail to hang that up. So many postcards in there. Right, right. We could start down the right hand side next to the next to the um, the tools. I'm just gonna start whacking them all up, Jason. Yeah, and spread out a bit. On that back wall. Yeah, I will do. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, where the wind is burn it, burn it here. You all right there? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just under the, just tucked in under roof. I'm just going for it, Jay. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. Nice. Yeah. 
definitely. It pleases my symmet symmetrical mind. What makes me think of you? I just say as well while we're here, thank you once again to everybody for sending us lovely things to brighten up our shed. It will come in particularly nice over the winter months when we're down here. And we've got colourful, shiny things to brighten up our allotment experience over the winter times. Megan, that's one of those things that it needs someone on the on the back. Show us. She, she brought it on the back though. Yeah. Uh, and I, I hate hiding messages, but. Um, oh yeah, I might have to leave that one for We'll think about that one. Oh, let me see, let me see. Will, will has this stapler go through? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's quite thick, I didn't know it would, Jeff. Oh, it's looking fabulous already. Ooh. That's actually for the... Um, it's the same postcard from uh, Victoria. Yes. Uh, one's for one's for home, for sure. A little piece of Kefalonia. They made me cry, but I'm not crying now. Hey, that were rude. That were right rude, that. I'm loving how full it's looking in here now. Yeah. And this staple gun from Dorcas. Fabulous. Bloody hell, it's made such a difference. Oh dear. Are you alright there? Coming in spits and spats, sunshine and showers today. Come back round here. To be really honest with you, Jason, this. Uh huh. I want this in our bathroom. Well, let's have it in our bathroom then. Because it's shells and wood and bits. I'm sure Victoria won't mind. Yeah, I'll let's... have this in our bathroom, guys. Yeah, because we'd be nice to have something at home that's a constant reminder of Kefalonia as well. Well, we have, we've got a tea towel. Oh, yeah. But still. Oh, it's all kicking off today. Every time, what we said, every time we're down here. Every time we're down here, we get this. I think that's why I have the postcards in you. Right, so that's for home. And that's for home. And that's for home. Ow! Bang my head, honey. And then there's these, this little pack of um, postcards. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it or or is it just? No, no, no. It's just one. I think. Yeah, it's just a really thick one. Nice. No whining, no complaining, absolutely no frowning. Only hugs, smiles, and warm fuzzy feelings are allowed. Thank you. I couldn't agree with that sentiment more. And then, just this. Uh huh. Oh, that's for home, that's for the box. This and these little stickers. So, you know, I like a gap sticker, Jason. I do. I do. You know I have real trouble with stickers, don't you, Jason? I do. <laughs> do you want to pass it here? <laughs> here. Lift others up. And then these two from uh, Kansas City. 
Is there any gaps or should go? Yeah, I think the wall's probably going to be better. I think the doors are pretty much taken up now. And so many seeds we've been sent as well that uh, we're so set for next year. We've got so many seeds, Jay. I know. So it's amazing. Man. Thank you. It can go with it. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Oh, thank you guys. Look at all those lovely messages from people all around the world. So, so cool. Beautiful. Yeah, look glamorous today to do the bleeding bulb in me hand. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting what we assume will be the last of the tomatoes now. Uh, and I'll just batch up um, another batch of uh, sauce. I hate it when they fall off. Yeah, there's quite a few more to collect, isn't there, today? That one just dropped right in front of you there on the floor. As in, in the tray, sorry. That's the one there. I mean, more might ripen, but I'm I'm kind of doubtful at this point now. At this point in the year, I hear you. Because we're hear not going to get much more sunshine now. everything then for sure because they're good there's a few right up on the very top at the front there can you see oh yeah i can oh. fiddly isn't it you fall then you drop on the floor then that'll do a thing brommers yeah uh, I don't think we're going to... We've not done bad though, we've eaten so many tomatoes from here, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Like loads on salads and everything. If you check out our meals vlogs, the link up there, you can basically see that every week we've eaten something from Plot 25. Every week, without fail. Um, sometimes a few times a week. So, we can't grumble. Oh, Yeah. I see you. Okay. There we go. Tomato harvest. Uh, we're here, babes. Virtually. I was just checking. <laughs> Jay, sorry. I just noticed these two over here. There we go. Final 
possibly tomato harvest. Can you see it? Yes, I wanted to see you and the tomatoes. Yes. Fabulous. I love <laughs> So it's a little bit rainy, but we wanted to show you this before we go home. So our lovely plot neighbours, Jack and Janet over there, have given us a shed load more kale. Look at all that. We've eaten so much kale from them over this last couple of weeks. Uh, what seems to be the last of our assorted tomatoes. Um, learned a lot of lessons growing them this year. Really enjoyed the ones we've had. I think we'll do much better next year. Yes. Uh, and a big pile of apples from the tree. A few for Johnny to make an apple and blackberry crumble. And uh, I'll do some as well. Plethora. <laughs> Before we bring this to an end, do you just want to show them, Jess? Yes. I've ordered these onions, onion bulbs, um, and they're apparently winter onions, commonly known as Japanese onions because of the time of year you grow them and they're quite strong. Uh, and I've read that the ideal planting time is September, well we're just into early October now. If anybody knows with experience in the UK, don't forget because our climates are so different all over the world. We all right planting them? Will they, like in October, will they become onions? Um, Can we whack them in the onion? Onion, and will they do their thing and Ooh. provide us with some onions over the winter times? We're definitely going to be provided with beetroot, parsnip, and carrot over heading up toward winter. And kale. And kale. <laughs> yeah. So it's raining. It's raining on and off. off. Um, which, is, which is a bit frustrating because we've got blue sky, we've got clouds, we've got a bit of sunshine but we've got to be really careful with Polly, our Panasonic, being out in the rain because she's an old deer um, and we don't want to, uh, we don't want to, we don't want to risk it. No, it's not, it's, it's just not worth the risk. So we're going to go home now. Um, as you saw, yet another plethora. Oh, I didn't tell you this at the beginning but I'll tell you now. Uh, when the, my first day out of lockdown was Wednesday this week. Um, and we came down here and we got a little truck of stuff. You took a picture. I did. I did. Here it is. It's basically a courgette, a cucumber, some onions, some more beans. Uh -huh. It's um, every time we, we come here, we, we leave with something. We were talking about this just last night. We were saying, because we, even we forget sometimes. I mean, we're at vlog 40 now. This is vlog 40. There's been so many times over the last few months that we've eaten at home with stuff from the allotment. So much. We've got so much from this plot for our first year. We're so, so chuffed. We are. Uh, and we know that a lot of yous uh, have followed along from the very first vlog. Um, and thank you so much for your positive comments. Uh, it's really kind of spurred us on. Um, inspired you us. You're all here with us on the walls and on the doors. Yeah. Every time we turn around, and that's beautiful. And we've loved this. We've, we've absolutely. This has just given us a whole other part of ourselves. It's been great for our physical health, as we've said before. It's been great for our mental health. Even just sitting here in the shed, looking out now, we've got blue sky. We've got pouring rain. Yeah. That But it's still a joy. <laughs> and now we're going to uh, call in Tesco's very quickly, a couple of bits. Get home. Jay's going to get this edited, ready to for you to see on Monday, I was just seeing it right now. Right now? He edited this on Sunday, just on Sunday. Uh, I'm going to play a couple of hours on my game, Pine Free, on Epic Game Store, marvellous. Um, and we'll be back down next week, hopefully in better weather, because we do need to do a lot of weeding. We want them cut right back for the winter so that they lose all their strength and then they find it harder to come back next year. We, we, we've basically got a lot of maintenance to do, but today is not the day for doing that yeah. at all but it's been bloody after two weeks of crap it's been lovely to be back down here again and just do a few bits and it's so nice to have you here with me 
as opposed to last weekend. Um, it's it's so nice. So yeah, uh, is that it? We done? I think so. I think we're done for this uh, for this weekend. Uh, as we've just said, don't forget to check out our meals vlog. If you're watching this on Monday, the day it's uploaded, don't forget to check out our meals vlog. I'll put the playlist up there. Uh, but we upload on Tuesday and we document our previous seven meals and you'll see a lot of stuff from the allotment kind of potted in there um, so yeah do do check that out um, and we'll see you again next week thank you so much for watching uh, and until we see you again please be excellent to yourselves and each other love you mister love you Mwah. love you guys bye loves mm -hmm.